Okay. Ah, we got Catherine who just purchased the super sticker. So thank you so much. Catherine says, question, what's your take on men who have never been married? I see a lot on the dating sites, but I'm hesitant to contact them. Not sure they would really be a good relationship material. Great question. What do you think about men who have never been married? Okay, I guess the question I have for you, Catherine, what do you think about women who've never been married? <laughs> what does that say about them? We can judge human beings. We can judge human beings as having some sort of defect. I know a lot of men look at women who have never been married and go, what's wrong with them? And a man who's never been married, what's wrong with him? I will tell you, one of my dear friends at age 45 got married for the first time and had children at age 47. So I'm here to say it's not out of the realm of possibility. And quite frankly, think about it. What does it say? About, by the way, 75% of the single population over 45 years old is divorced. What does it say about them? What does it say that they can't keep a relationship? So, <laughs> or didn't choose well. So I'm here to say we can judge that as being something wrong with them, or we can go, maybe they were smart and dodged bullets, okay? A woman or a man have dodged bullets. Ultimately, you have to find out what is it that they're looking for? What does commitment mean to them if they're seeking a rela Okay, now we're going to go down another rabbit hole because this is what Jonathan does. Folks, most people over 45 years old are simply seeking a relationship. And a relationship most of the time is monogamy and exclusivity without any direction of where this relationship is going. In fact, Esther Perel talks about this in her book, Mating in Captivity, or not in the book, but she talks about this. In Mating in Captivity, Esther Perel, Esther Perel, Mating in Captivity, she calls, she has something she calls stable ambiguity. Stable ambiguity. And what that means is the stable part is that the relationship is monogamous and exclusive, and the ambiguity is there's no direction for this relationship. So I'm here to say that the vast majority of humans over 45 years old who divorce have no direction anyway. So it doesn't make any difference whether they were never married or divorced. And quite frankly, people divorce, they're I'm, I'm going to jokingly say they're failures. They couldn't keep a marriage. They couldn't sustain a marriage. So it doesn't necessarily make them any better at the process. And when you think about it, second and third marriages divorce at a higher rate than first marriages. So again, you can't put a correlation other than, and this is what my invitation for you, Catherine, is to ask better questions, ask better questions in the early phases. By the way, folks, my coaching practice is all centered about how to pre-qualify your prospect. In other words, how to ask better questions based on your personality and your compatibility needs. I teach you, I help you craft the right questions to ask a man while you're dating, how to vet for his emotional maturity, and how to lean into a greater sense of compassion and love in the dating process. And if you need some support, if you're looking to actually shift your experiences, if you're single and looking for love right now and you're looking to shift your experience, then check out a link below to a free discovery call with me to see if working with a coach is right for you. Catherine, thank you so much for that question. I really appreciate the $20 super sticker as well. Your sweetheart. Thank you. All right.